times Well, we post it every Friday See them corner emojis, then you know a nigga wildin' Jay the Gemini to the day I die And I'ma talk my shit, but I don't play both sides with you <laughs> nah, bro, he got people in Justina. That's what they say, bro. So I'm just going to go with it. On the south really? side. That's what they say, bro. I thought his claim to fame was Julington Creek. Uh, I think you think of the YK Osiris, bro. Mm, maybe. You look like a suitcase. Let's, let's, let's ask the audience. If anybody knows. What's knows, up, y'all? Yeah, it's your favorite. YouTube Florida couple, man. Yeah. Back at it. Oh Top God. five at least. Top five at least. And we are yeah. talking about um somebody that is again allegedly from our city. Um, Nardo Wick. I have not talked about him in some time. And unfortunately it's not under good circumstances. We have a fan tried to take a picture and this is my assumption, Nardo being on some, like, paranoid, overly cautious. You look in the media, you're seeing, you're not seeing grown men committing crimes no more. It's little kids. Like, let's keep right. it up. I feel like he was being a little overly cautious and just told his people on site type, like. Bro. And they freaking hurt this kid, like, really, really bad. When you first told me about this, yo, I, I thought the same exact thing. But not only that, I am fully aware of the not only like you said, they who killed Pop Smoke? No, seriously. Little niggas, right? Yeah. What they trying to do? Take your chain on a greasy neck tour. They trying or just to say that they're the ones that did it so they can make a song and say they smoking something, something. Put pack. you in a. Yeah. Like, all that. So. Or, you know, we, we see on the Florida pages, bro, you be getting robbed at gas stations and all this, bro. All people run up on you quick. But mm -hmm. if you're famous, you take pictures, you typically. But when I seen the video, I was like, Come no, on, they did no, not. Seriously. This motherfucker ran up like he was kicking a soccer ball, dog. <laughs> like, you, bro. But, oh, my God. They beat Caleb ass like that, Damn. bro. They didn't have to do that, bro. That's his name, Caleb. Nah, I'm just if I would have looked up, bro. Oh, like he looked like I get what yeah, you're saying. Like, oh, bro. They oh, thought okay. he was a West Side white boy. They thought yeah. he was poor. <laughs> oh, but that's not what happened, bro. That bro, I saw his mom on Facebook. She was standing on business, bro. She wasn't playing. I she thought was they not cool. playing about him. Bro, that's what I thought too. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna play all the videos and everything because it's really conflicting. On one end, it's on some I talked to the family. I apologize from Nardo, right? The other end, I'm seeing the mama on Facebook. Look at this freaking shit. Look what happened to my son. And then going on the newt, like, bro, I don't know. That's crazy. I don't know. What's I even on. saw on the video at first, like, I, I, I did before I even, because, you know, you see it in layers, bro. I ain't got time to actually, like, look at it yeah. at first. But you see people talking. I seen the apology first. I'm like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I then saw, the saw what people were saying. People was like, video. oh, you ain't even trying to do shit. In the video, it did look like, but the video I saw, like it cut real quick, but it did look like he was like trying to like grab the collar or whoever was going demon time on Lil' Caleb. <laughs> Not Lil' Caleb. But the first punch. Literally slid, bro, on his some name, world star bro, shit. Not too much. His name is Connor. No, it's not. Yep, and Connor went to the concert because he was having a concert. Bro, and he, this all happened after. And that's the main, when I was reading the apology, I was like, damn. So here, I'm going to show y'all the apology because we both are over here talking about it. Um, We damn, over here, bro. he's over here like, bro, I was just doing a concert. You want me to pull it up? I got you, bro. Now you over here. Freaking hurt. That's not what was supposed to happen. Here, let me just play this. For your help to identify two people seen on camera punching a man in the face uh, after a concert in Evo right City. Here. He said, I don't condone what happened to my fan, George. Yeah, there's after two my okay after there's two people. Yeah, there's George Damn. and Connor. But she just said after it. my yeah. show and I'm express. I expressed to him and his mama how sorry and concerned I was that it happened to him multiple times before anything even was posted on the internet. I sent his mama my number instantly that night it happened. I was going to make a post to try to figure out who it was before his mama texted me. 
I can't control another grown man actions. I ain't know it was going to happen. And I was mad that it happened. I tried to stop it, as you see in the video. And if somebody got the longer video, you can see how mad I was. I love and appreciate my fans. And I don't condone what happened at all. That shit ain't gangsta or cool in no type of way. And, bro, I agree. And it's crazy. That don't sound like nothing a PR person wrote. That sound like little bro wrote that. That's honestly. the general consensus online. That doesn't sound, unless that's the best PR person of all time. That is the first person. A witness shooter. gave us this cell phone video. It shows the 20 year old victim attacked outside Club Sky early Monday morning. Now, we have paused the video right before the punch because it's just too violent to show you. But these are photos from Tampa police of the two people that they believe were involved. TPD just sent us these updated photos in the last two minutes. We spoke with Connor Villa. Yeah, who I says did see that he people in the comments like, like, hey, bro, if you really care, we by did it. Bernardo after, right. Police you know. say after that concert, Obergon you know attempted to approach go. the rapper for a photo. And that's when they say two men who appeared to be affiliated with the rapper punched him. He just walked over and out of nowhere, he hit him and I just, I froze and it was just surreal to see. It was surreal to see someone just continuously hit Connor someone that's defenseless. I think every mother that watched that video. You're a terrible the, friend, uh, my nigga. Can, terrible can friend. Just, so right, and you just gonna call that him. Get you. Gonna watch, bruh. You gonna watch George get the shit, man. Uh, he must have had the thought like, they about to mop my, my ass too, uh, but it's like, bruh. Powerless that I felt on, at that time that you weren't there. You wish you were there. You wish you could have done something. You wish you could have stopped him from going. Obregon is still hospitalized in Wesley Chapel. On Instagram, Nardo Wick wrote, quote, I don't condone oh. what happened to my fan, George, after my show in any type of way I, I expressed to, to him. I mom said earlier, though. This is what the mom said earlier. Did they cut out the, the last word? Did they just put that? Can you see the last part of that video? Uh, okay, I was about to say he definitely <laughs> <laughs> just checking, bro. I was like, oh, they really, uh, huh? Interesting. She said, I want everybody to see what these motherfuckers did to my son. Now you at no like that. point was my son aggressive. At no fucking point did he show any sign of harm. My son wanted a stupid fucking picture with this rap uh, artist. Bro. <laughs> And this is what he gets. I'm sick to my stomach mm. to think about how. See, bro, this the crazy. This is why I'm not smoking with the dude down the street. There you right go. There. Right there. Because the second the it go bad, go it's, this is what he gets. This is what he gets. Like, man, chill, bro. You ain't even let little bro. dog probably with a, you know. Because I'm sure, especially judging by what bro said, he trying to make this right, bro. Right. At least give, bro. It is totally uncalled right. for. No, it really is. Because totally. I, I don't understand why he got Molly Wop the way he did. You just did a concert. You know fans are, like, lingering. You know. Like, I didn't know he did a concert until, like, recently. Maybe, like, a few hours ago. And she said, anybody you know. that knows me knows that he's the sweetest, gentlest kid. Now, if this was the, if the roles were reversed, this mm -hmm. is the, he never did anything to nobody. Right? Mm -hmm. Bro. I don't know, man. No gangs, no drugs, no alcohol, nothing. So he was just chilling as yet, bro. Yeah, he just wanted a picture. He literally just wanted a picture. Damn. He literally just wanted a picture. That's why I was like, bro, you must have literally had your security on some. If anybody runs up on me in the city, get it, especially a young person. Green light. Get on it. Yeah. And that's that's sad. That's they misunderstood sad. the assignment, though, because you That's know if bro fuck. ever did say that, which I ain't going to lie, bro done made it this far, you know, from the powers that be or from, you know, having the green light security. But it's like, really, bro? Really? You couldn't have just mushed this little nigga? Like, no, what are you doing, bro? Like, I feel this was way this was overkill, bro. This was overkill. And if it do get to that point, bro, if it's green light, green light, bro, just put it. You're in Florida, bro. You could just put a nigga in a box real quick. You don't got to like, I don't know, bro. Well, Nardo responded. Damn. But he ain't do it. it was damn he made scary. like a video. Is this the one with the video? 
he did like a live video. Oh, the bombs in here more. Here, I'll show you all the live video in a second, but there's some more. After a concert in Ybor City overnight Monday. Now, we want to warn you, the video here is pretty graphic, but this incident happened. And then there was just a mass shooting in Ybor. Like, it's, there's a lot going on, and, like, it's just really fun. After that know. first punch right there, what ne what else needed to happen? Bro is clearly not Seriously. a threat. Like, why you dove like, in, bro, you shit like that, bro? That punch alone. Clearly. Anything else. Clearly out of there. Overnight Monday that, outside of Club Sky on 8th Avenue. TPD says the man who's still in the hospital was hit multiple times while waiting to take a that picture with the rapper Nardo Wick. New wow. Stanley's Brittany Muller joins us now live after speaking with the so chief crazy. of police about this investigation. Brittany. Josh, good evening. I guess this is really a prime example of like you can't take some niggas right. nowhere, right. bro. This They'll ruin your whole career the if they can. He was punched. He then he was knocked out. Like you literally, killed him. Bro. bro, he's still trying to recover from this. He was knocked out. That's sick. Yeah, you gotta. Where is he at? Trying to protect him. Falls to the ground. That's him right there. He's the unconscious. White. Yeah. Um, so he grabbed other bros' jacket. But I mean, he could have stopped. So this him in the white. The he could have stopped them like before it even got to that point, though. Like for real, for real. I ain't gonna hold Damn. you. Cause he's knocked no, really, out. There bro. was a split second where he could have jumped in but right here. Dead ass, Disturbing bro. video shows okay, he got hit. Cause look, he's now seeing gap of time. moments. A fan was punched. But nah, he no is trying. Nah, he's trying to get up there though. He yeah. is, bro. But there's he just a lot of people like. Uh, he was unconscious. And then he did grab him, bro. So I mean, this is horrible. Yeah, they're gonna definitely try to oh sue my, my boy. Um, concussion and uh, several spots of bleeding in the brain. Michelle Ober. <gasps> oh my god! I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah, it is pretty bad. That nigga has brain bleed and shit, bro. That's like if he got into a car accident. I feel like shit like this happens a lot. You know all them world star videos people used yes. to watch? And people They probably you, dead, people, we didn't even know, or vegetables. We didn't even know. No, nah, I mean, he'll probably bounce back, bro, but you do be changed, bro. A lot of people don't have health insurance to go to the hospital and find out how like damage um, they just got. There's this documentary I was watching, and um, it's on Tubi, but I don't remember the name of it. But it was a bunch of different people who had, um, what's it called? Basically, when you get hit so hard, your CTE. brain, like, yeah, basically CTE, but not just from football or something. Like, some people were in car accidents. Some people were in domestic violence situations. Some people were in the military like different or some people got into a um accident on like a roller coaster ride shit like that and they be forgetting shit like they forget stuff they get angry out of nowhere because they forget stuff um some of them just like get uh if they're genetically disposed to alzheimer's stuff like that get it early like you can't just be hitting people bro like that their job is to hit people. We're not going to sit here and be ignorant. No, that's what I said at the beginning of this Cause, video, Because, I mean, bro. I have to play devil's advocate, bro. Maybe this is why you shouldn't be walking up on niggas, too. Like, why are you just walking up on random niggas, bro? He's not damn Justin Bieber, bro. Like. Shit, even Justin Bieber is on. Bro, when people make them songs, somehow they pump gas with a gun out and shit. Maybe you should listen to that, bro. And stop thinking shit sweet. Stop running up on random niggas you don't know. From Jacksonville. There you go. I guess so, but I don't know. Bergon says saying, her bro. son George has been following rapper Narda Wick since the beginning. He was just walking over and Shit, crazy. he didn't really say much. He was just like, hey, can I get a picture? Connor Villa went to Club Sky in Ybor City with George on Sunday night to see the rapper perform. Well, if he just, just said, can I get a picture? And they I, still I shouldn't be this. I didn't, I didn't even know bro. what to do. I was I was shocked. Villa rushed his what if they said no, and County, then he said something out of pocket, and then they beat his ass? Hospital. Narda Wick posted on social media saying he reached out to the fan and his mom, expressing how sorry he is. They went and physically attacked the victim. Chief Lee Burkhaw says the two suspects yep. seen in these photos could be facing felony battery charges yeah. for their alleged involvement with the brutal beatdown.
But Narda Wick's manager told News Channel 8 the people seen punching George are not his security and are not directly what? connected with the rapper. What if they were just niggas in the city type shit? In Tampa? Yeah. Like, Some you know how you... Very, yeah, like, bro. Like, you know, in. you, you ta check in. He probably just checked in, bro. Awesome. Like, bro, that actually would make sense. It actually would make sense. Because that's what you do if you're smart. Right? I mean, shit, you got to be tapped in with somebody. I'm not going down to damn Polk County or wherever the hell, Hillsborough County without tapping in with some niggas. I'm still just like in shock. Actually, of the video. nah, I'm at least yeah. have some, somebody down that motherfucker. I'm trying to find the, like to. the live stream here. He had like a little, uh, he made like an actual statement on a video and not like on a post. I ain't gonna lie. I don't. I wouldn't have did it. I wouldn't have did that shit either. I, I would have just it. played behind the scenes and helped right. the people who were involved and helped the family. I wouldn't have done none of this shit for real. But, I mean, you know, for the powers that be, Not bro, Wick is in trouble you over his do. You know, if they tell you to make a video and say something, you got to make a video and say something. You yeah, but where up. are the powers that be? When you had all these Tampa niggas around, fucking G checking the fans. You want me to That's really keep? You want me to keep like, it a buck? He's not like at the height of um, where his career was at initially, and he didn't have bangers. But he's not like um, on some niggas level of notoriety. He's just a big investment, you know. So I don't think that they're probably sending this nigga around like he's Lil Uzi or Jay-Z everywhere he goes with six Suburbans and niggas with Uzis and shit. You know what I'm saying? No, I feel you, though. That's so what you do is you check His in. His bodyguards now. excessively assaulting a fan that just wanted a picture with the rapper. Now, Nardo Wick has spoken up. I don't rock like that at all. You feel me? I want not gangster. I want cool. I didn't know that was going to happen. You feel me? I didn't expect that to happen. I love all my fans. I welcome all my fans with open arms. You feel me? After the situation happened, I was mad as hell. You feel me? I got in contact with his mama that same night. I checked on him and I told her anything he need. You feel me? I got him. You feel me? Before anything was posted, before any video was seen, before any blog posted, before she posted anything, then I reached out to her. I checked on him. You feel me? And told her I got, up, got, got him whatever he need me to do, you feel me, to make it up to him as a fan. Not all Wick is in trouble over his... What happened? What what happened? What's the disconnect? Because me and you can infer all night. You get what I'm saying? It makes the most sense of what you said before he checked in. Those are the Tampa niggas that was lingering, that he had to keep around, and they fucking stole off on his ass. That makes sense to me. However... If you did hit her up before all them posts and shit, something happened. I ain't gonna lie. You know? If I had um, diamond slugs, I would have popped them out for that video or not made the video. And if I had diamond permanent slugs, I just wouldn't have made no video because, bro, they about to. Yeah, I would have just kept it at the personalized message yeah, because everybody yeah. else always hires PR and shit. He already stood out by doing that. He didn't. Nah, that lie. was. I'll... That was real. Really solid. That was and real. He could have just went behind the scenes and did what he needed to do. Like, that was real. Yeah, because everybody else be on that. Hey, you know me playing devil's advocate. Shit. If them was my niggas, I'd be like, hey, they from Tampa. <laughs> uh. Nah, you can't make excuses because he could have did that. He could have been like, oh, bro, they didn't know they was trying to protect me. Obviously. No, I'm but saying. They didn't read the room. Even if them was. Your homies, oh, they are, them ain't my homies. I still feel, and I'm about to end this video, after everything that we've learned, knowing that those weren't security, those are locals, everything, yeah. I still feel like, because people check in for a reason. Sure. I still feel like it was told, watch out for these young people around me. Straight up. Watch out for people running up on me. Bruh. Take care of me while I'm here. Bruh. And... Innocent bystander. Honestly, honestly, 
we don't know the true extent to the That's story and all what that. Happened, bro, tell us what happened. What the fuck? Um, and that white boy definitely could have jacked the shit out of them niggas if he had the right uh machinery. He could have definitely uh put bro under if he had the right machinery. So. But if he came up and said, hey, let me take a picture, all that shit's flawed, right? If he didn't ever get a word out, it's the only way this should have happened. Is there audio on that video? Probably not. But also, why was there ever a video of him walking up in the first place? Right. Like, how are they? Oh, because uh, Connor, the friend, Connor, he was recording it. They had just went to the show. They were fans. They were excited. Got you. So they thought it was going to be a different type of video. Because at first I had that same thought, too. I was like, who's recording this? Oh, there's two dudes? What the fuck? Like, it's it's all making sense to me now. That's why I'm like, okay. I'm just like. I get it. If, and even if he did, this, it wasn't worth it clearly now. But I'm like, what did he say after they were like, nah, we not taking no picture? Right. Like, who called the ambulance? No, what it what was said before shit popped off? Because something clearly we're missing a piece of this for sure. Right. But um, we'll see. We will. I don't wish jail on nobody. I hope that George ends up healing okay and that he gets better because it sounds like he has some pretty serious injuries. And I don't, I'm not wishing no ill on nobody. But it sounded like Nardo might have to pay for for this for like the rest of his life, honestly. Financially, maybe, maybe not. If if he some, can prove that he don't know them niggas, person, Brad, the way he's trying to make it seem like he's being remorseful, this person might just be around him for the rest of his life. Cause this yeah, is bad. Shit. He got a brain bleed. Bro, I mean niggas People be, be in wheelchairs niggas get shit. shot every day. Be like, I I just told he you, was a fan. Like it, it is sad, but up. again, all them world star videos are you seen? Yep, yeah. You got to think, if he is a fan and they trying to get a bag, of course he got a, blank, a brain bleed, nigga. Fuck, like... Damn, bro. This niggas, is so fucked up. Niggas be getting put in boxes. It's, it's good that he's not dead. Hopefully he don't die. Oh, I know. Thank God he's still here. Cause, you know? And this is also a testament to like this rap shit. Uh, and this is why they trying to promote Afro beat now constantly yeah. because with this rap shit it, it, it breeds death and destruction and mayhem nigga by design right Ooh. and it's all funny it's all funny games now, until that too. shit hits He's the other side of the that. fence in every direction bro it's sad bro yeah but that's when it really start hitting it breeds paranoia all that all that yeah because but like we said yeah. with pop is it rightfully so because i know some white boys that would definitely <laughs> professional chain snatchers that. professional chain